Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at Navigator 2.0 in Flutter and Dart. Navigator 1 was an imperative API and Navigator 2 is a declarative API. An imperative style of doing things implies giving minute specific directions or instructions to a program and a declarative way is just telling the program the end product you expect and it figures out how to do it. For example, it's the difference between giving someone a recipe and telling someone to make you a pasta dish such that the person whom you've told to make your pasta dish will still have to follow some steps in their minds. The difference is that in this case you haven't told them a specific instructions like boil water, take a certain amount of pasta, use a certain amount of salts, etc. So this is the difference between imperative and declarative. This also means that by extension, Navigator 2 wraps on top of Navigator 1, which means that Navigator 2 is not a breaking change to Navigator 1, and the two of them can be used seamlessly together as of right now. And the difference that comes with uh, Navigator 1 and 2 is that in the beginning, Flutter was just a mobile cross-platform uh, solution and was just concerned with mobile navigation. And traditional mobile navigations follows a stack architecture or a stack style such that the screens are just simply pushed on top of each other and you pop the topmost. It was a bit difficult to pop a few screens deep. And this didn't this was okay for that use case because users do not have a URL bar in which to directly manipulate the way they navigate through applications. So you're very imperative, you decide how the user will navigate your application and you give them options to use and they basically have no other way to navigate in your application except following the laid out path. Then Flutter introduced Flutter Web which is now step. Flutter Web introduces the complexities of the browser URL. The user can type in your URL to your application and they can manipulate the URL, they can add segments to the end of the URL, they can try to go directly to places, they can use the browser's back button instead of the app's even back button. So Navigator 2.0 was introduced to deal with the, the, that particular scenario to extend so that the routing system in Flutter works for both mobile and web. It was also a way of making the Flutter navigation seamless or similar to Flutter's own declarative approach such that uh, the navigation was imperative but Flutter is declarative. So now the navigation in Flutter, the entire framework is basically a declarative framework. Um, so Navigator 2.0 as of right now is quite verbose and has a lot of setting up to do and uh, we will take a look at this in the next videos and if this helps you understand why Navigator 2.0, what the difference between Navigator 1 and 2.0 is from a conceptual understanding so that you appreciate why in the first place we have to have this seemingly complex solution where Navigator 1 works fine and still works fine. Please like the video and share with your friends. It helps the video spread to people who are learning Flutter and that, people who are trying to learn programming. I'll, I'll see you in the next one.